Hello and welcome back to another episode of MAV where we do hunting, fishing, camping, everything outdoors. Today I got an exciting episode for you guys and yes, we are on the rainy river again. Today, to spice things up a little bit though, I'm going to do a little bit of a catch and cook. I'm going to cook up some fish tacos out of the truck and then spend uh, one, of my, one of my third or fourth nights in the truck. So, stick with me, stay tuned, you might not be pissed. Let's see if we can catch some walleyes and then let's, let's cook them up. Go. Ooh. Is it a good one? That's uh, gonna be decent. You know, it doesn't matter, maybe. That's a good one. Oh yeah. I finally got the net one for you. <laughs> Twenty-five. Oh, oh. She gone. <laughs> she, wanted to, she wanted to come back. <laughs> Heck yeah, dude. <laughs> Sauger. See you later, buddy. Okay. Another one. Two casts, two fish. Did they get any bigger on the spot? That is the question. That's my biggest one of the day. Not huge, probably like 22, 21. You get to go home. Bye bye. Very successful day. We managed to get one big fish and that was Jeremy's, a 25 incher. I am so tired after the day that we had, but I'm gonna get back to the truck and uh, get cooking on some walleye because I am hungry. Overall, good day in the water, let's get to the truck. All right guys, we made it back to the truck. <sighs> All right, so my whole plan for this episode was to do a walleye catch and cook, which I'm still gonna try to do, but I've ran into a problem. My walleye is completely frozen. I. Definitely didn't give my cooler the benefit of the doubt. I didn't think that that while I would still be completely frozen rock solid after two days of sitting in it So shout out to you Coleman coolers. I do have a plan B. So in the meantime while I'm trying to unthaw that with my buddy heater I am going to Rip some pot stickers. Yes, I do travel with pot stickers because pot stickers are unbelievable as graceful as this thing looks It's not at all I also forgot to bring a water bottle on the lake today, so the first thing I'm gonna do is drink a big, big jug of water. I'm gonna coat the bottom of the pan with oil. And then I take some water, pour it in. Oh, okay. Now we're just gonna let those suckers cook. And we're gonna have a little appetizer before our walleye dinner, hopefully. I don't know if you guys can see that or not, but my breath is starting to show up. It's getting cold out here and it's getting cold fast. And I'm actually just gonna use this pot as a little cover just to kind of hold that heat in. Just so that the hot water like doesn't escape and then it actually cooks that noodle in the meat. I'd say that's about done. Oh, that 
It's hot, but it's so good. Here's the progress on the fish. Still definitely a nice chunk, but I think it might be possible tonight. It's honestly not looking good for the walleye because it's it's starting to sprinkle, and I don't know what I'm going to do if I get wet. I'm going to be so uncomfortable, so I'm going to literally pack all this stuff up, throw everything in the back of the car, and I'm going to get inside the camper here because it's going to get wet fast. I'm, I'm, I have a feeling. All right. Okay. <sighs> Voila. Okay. As you guys can tell, I definitely need to get more organized. It just started to sprinkle outside. It says in the forecast that it's supposed to rain in like 20 minutes. So it says in the forecast app that it's supposed to rain tonight. Um, I can't tell when because I don't have service out here. I thought it was going to come down pretty hard there. Looks like it's not too bad right now, but I'd rather not have everything outside right now and have to, you know, pack it up in a hurry and risk uh, getting soaked myself before I have to go to bed tonight. I'm going to wait it out for a little bit and hopefully we can get back out there and this rain doesn't inhibit us too much. Although it's a little colder out here, it's definitely not raining anymore. So that's cool. I'm trying to get this fish cooked up as quick as possible because I am I am getting more and tired by the minute. This oil is piping hot right now, which is amazing. And it's gonna be nice and crispy. I'm gonna hurry up and get all these fillets in there at the same time though. Because else I'm gonna have fish that's cooked and fish that isn't. They're not coming. Avocado. Kind of a cool thing to put in a taco. Tastes good. And really kind of just completes a fish taco in my opinion. Probably only going to use half of this thing. These things are very dangerous to, to, to cut, so always be careful. Don't do what I just did there and cut towards your hand. Not really a great idea. Jalapeno. Also a nice little touch to a taco. The other amazing thing about jalapenos is that they're going to make it very hard for me to take out my contacts in a little bit. So that's something I didn't think about. I'm definitely going to forget that and I'm gonna take my contacts out and I'm gonna hate myself. So that's that's how my night's gonna go for sure. I'm gonna have to make a very hard conscious effort not to not to do that. Alright, I'm gonna go take care of this oil. Hopefully I don't burn myself. Alright, now I got a warm tortilla. And I have all my condiments ready, so. And first, obviously, go ahead and lay the fish in here. Lay in some avocado, a little bit of jalapeno, which is definitely going to make my eyes water later. Contact owners, you feel my pain. I have a little bit of cilantro and lime. And honestly, that should about do it. I have some extra things here, but I'm going to get in the truck quick and eat this. That just goes to show you, never give up on a plan, even though it might not seem possible. I could have very easily just gone to bed, and I would have been in bed at 9.30 an hour ago. It's 10.19 right now, but instead, I really just wanted to get this fish taco done. Oh god, this thing, just look at it, in all its glory. Avocado, little jalapeno, little cilantro, little lime on there. Absolutely, no fish taco is complete without an old dirty sock soda, fresh from the foot. Love it. Mm. I hope you guys enjoy these episodes. I really do enjoy cooking, and being able to cook out of the back of the truck is a challenge, and it's hard to be able to film it at the same time. So live and live and learn, I guess. Um, there's never gonna be a true right answer right off the bat. Definitely need to get a new tripod. It would make it a lot easier, and maybe I need to get like a B camera. Have a have a little one that I can bring around, but uh, I think I'm going to finish this sock soda up and uh, I'm going to get some Z's. I'm going to sleep like a baby tonight. Good night.
Good morning. I slept like a baby last night. Like a big baby. It's raining out today, so no fishing will be done. It's about 8 in the morning. And fish don't like rain. No, I don't like rain. I'm sure fish are completely fine with rain. I just don't want to go fishing in this. Mm. All right. Time to get up and get dressed. Wow. That might be record world's longest let yawn. All right, well, overall another successful night in the truck. But I got a five hour drive ahead of me. And, uh, I don't know. All right, definitely another successful night in the truck. I got a five hour drive ahead of me, so I'm gonna get after it. Thank you guys so much for tuning in this episode of Mav. If you guys like videos like this, please comment down below, let me know. Uh, and as always, timeline.